Imagine if you hosted a show like this in 2017, a cultural revolution going on all around you, and your job, find the weirdest story of the day. You couldn't do it. You have to create a contest called Top That, and we have to determine the weirdest of the moment. Tonight, joining us, Catherine Lyons, managing editor of Famous DC, and Gabby Morangiello, White House reporter for the Washington Examiner. Thank you both, Catherine. You first. Well, I think the only saving grace to my story is that Lena Dunham deleted a tweet, but not before the internet found it. On Father's Day, she tweets, <clears throat> you don't need a father. So many families work so many ways, but if you have one, he better work. Now, work is spelled with an E, and I'm still trying to figure out what that means. But first of all, Lena, stop. Second of all, fathers are important as our mothers, as is anybody that plays that role in our lives. I certainly needed my father. He taught me how to drive. And Lord knows I didn't need my mom teaching me those skills. No offense, mom. <laughs> Well, I, of course, <laughs> as a father and the beneficiary of a great one, I agree completely. And I feel a little bit of guilt even bringing up the name Lena Dunham on this show. But, you know, we have obligations to the news. All right, Gabby, can you beat that? I'll do my best, Tucker. So uh, apparently Skittles executives at the Mars Candy Company were not paying attention during the whole controversy surrounding that Pepsi commercial because they're now trying to show that their company is all about tolerance and inclusiveness by um, producing an all, a limited edition all-white bag of Skittles. Obviously, this backfired. Liberals accused them of being racist and promoting white pride, when in fact the company wanted this to basically uh, promote Pride Week. They were sending this message out saying that, you know, by removing the rainbow colors from Skittles, we're taking we're putting all the attention on the rainbow flag to support the LGBT community. Um, it, it, this is just another example that the left is never going to be satisfied. I mean, this is a move that was supposed to reach out to the LGBT community, and just like the Pepsi commercial, it backfired. See, and maybe candy companies shouldn't get involved in politics when Zagnut <laughs> starts teaming up with PETA. I'm out. Those are both awesome, Catherine. Obviously, you detonated the neutron bomb of news. Anything Lena Dunham related wins just by its very nature. <laughs> so horrifying, so retina burning in its awfulness uh, that it, you know, it's just natural. But Gabby, you did a great job. So thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you to you both.